at the Buku Public Cemetery. I thank God for the technology that we have that those who are viewing, they can be part of also the internment service. Please join with me as we have a short prayer to begin this part of the celebration of the life of our sister. Our loving Father in heaven, we will thank you for um, bringing us safely. We pray the Lord as we enter into this final rites, uh, Father God, that your Holy Spirit will continue to be with us. Continue to comfort, continue to cheer, uh, Lord, each, each grieving heart. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We shall sing one hymn. After the singing of that hymn, I will read a passage of scripture from John 11, the story of the resurrection of Lazarus, and then we have the internment. We shall use hymn number 341. To God be the glory, great things he has done. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So love he the world that he gave us his son. chapter 11 John chapter 11 from verse 39 Jesus said take ye away the stone Martha the sister of him that was dead said unto him Lord by this time he stinketh for he had been dead four days Jesus said unto her said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe thou shouldest see the glory of God then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me, and I knew that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he had thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes. And his face was bound, 
about with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, Loose him and let him go. Then the Bible says that many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did believed on him. Nobody could hold on to Jesus if Jesus could not have done what he promised to do. They held on to him because he has the power to do the impossible. He has the power to make the dumb to speak, the lame to walk, the lepers to have bodies clean. No more leprosy. He has the power even to resurrect the dead. I want to say today, Sister Rita has died, but Jesus is alive. And because Jesus is alive, one day soon, Sister Rita will be alive again. One day soon, resurrection morning will come. I want to say today, may these words comfort each one of us. Our sister will live again. May these words comfort us. If we live following her, her example, we too, if we die, we will live again. I want to say today, thank God for a woman who never gave up on Jesus. Thank God for a woman who died in Christ. She is safe in the arms of our mighty Lord. At this time, I want to have the prayer of internment. Let's pray. Now, Father, we say thanks for the 96 years that you gave to Sister Rita Atta. We say thanks, O oh Lord, for the way she loved, the way she gave of herself, the way she lived as a woman who was following Jesus. We want to thank you, dear Lord, for her family members who are here. Oh Lord, we pray that they will follow her example. Oh Lord, we pray today in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, knowing that you do everything well, knowing that you will never give us more than we can bear, knowing, dear Lord, weeping will only endure for a night. Oh, joy will come in the morning. Oh, Lord, we tenderly commit the body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, until that blessed morning when she shall see you face to face. Oh, until that day, keep us faithful in Jesus' name. Okay, we will now have the grave diggers commit the body to the ground. those who came to sing we will continue to sing some beautiful choruses and hymns
Thank you. 